And we need to clear the way for the gospel message so that others can hear about the kingdom of God. Some of us need to get rid of our religion. You say, wait, I came to church. Isn't religion a good thing? No, it's the enemy of the gospel. Religion is our way of trying to somehow please God on our own. Jesus came, said, I brought the kingdom. I'm the only one who pleases God. Your faith in me pleases God. Some of you need to get rid of your religion. Some of you claim to be Christians preaching the kingdom of God, and yet you have this religion in your life that is, that is prohibiting others from seeing the gospel. You think people have to be a certain way, think a certain way, vote a certain way, dress a certain way in order to hear the kingdom message. The church has been doing this for too long. When Jesus is calling the Democrats, Republicans, and everything in between, Jesus is calling to the prostitutes and the pimps, and the parishioners. He's calling to all of them to drop their religion. Clear the way so people can see the kingdom message. We have this judgment in the church. We have this expression that makes me throw up in my mouth. Love the sinner, hate the... You're like, wait, how can I make you throw up in your mouth? That's a great one. I have it on my car. That's my Facebook status. So that I could address people without really addressing them. How about love the sinner and hate your sin? How's that for you? Pay attention to yourself. Love the sinner and hate your sin. And see how the gospel spreads that way. And by the way, let the sinners that you love so much know you hate your sin. And see how God addresses their sin. Clear the way for the kingdom. Clear the way for the gospel to work. You're not the gospel. Jesus is the gospel. Trust me. When we get before the Lord and God is working in our lives, he shows us really quickly what he hates and what he doesn't hate. He doesn't need you to point it out. Allow God to work. Love the sinner and hate your sin. And watch how the path is cleared for the gospel.